As America entered World War II in December of 1941, Remington was already geared up into making firearms uh, for Great Britain. And so, so what they did in that early part of the war was change over. Instead of supplying arms to Britain, Remington started making arms for the United States government. And they took, um, because the U.S. government could not make Garand rifles quick enough for their forces, they took the tried and true Springfield bolt action rifle, which was designed back in, in, this, in World War I. All of the machinery had been stored at Rock Island, was moved over to Remington's plant in Ilion, and Remington, in very, within about four months, was able to start producing tens of thousands of rifles needed by all of our troops coming into battle on both the eastern and the western theaters of, of, of war. And so, uh, as, as it turned out, Remington supplied hundreds of thousands of these rifles to the government when they needed them to help protect our, our country. And again, for the second war in a row, Remington-related companies supplied more than half of all the ammunition used by the Allies during World War II. So Remington played a really big part in the war effort.